Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and this is Monday, September 27th. That means the end of week seven of my 15 week sexification 2021. I was very happy and kind of surprised this morning when I woke up. I stepped on scale and weighed 329 0.2 pounds, which is awesome. That means I lost a total of 8.2 pounds during week seven, which is actually the same amount that I lost during week six. So that is 64.4 pounds lost so far after the first seven weeks. We're almost to the halfway point. We have eight weeks to go, so still a lot more time to make some progress. I am outside my house that I own with Katina Eats Kilos. We are here with Pegasus, where Pegasus is pretty much parked all the time. One of the reasons, or one of the main reasons, that I'm able to be successful consistently during this sexification is because my home environment is set up perfectly. There's not really anything that kind of hinders my progress. So let's get in and I'll show you the first room. Before we get inside, you've got to check out. My mom loves this, but we've got our doormat right here. Now let's go inside. And now we have our living room. I actually don't spend a whole lot of time here. This is more so for Katina. We brought Katina's couch from her house in Spokane. That's one of the main things along with her bed. We brought that, but Katina has pretty much done everything in this entire house. Katina's got pretty much a design with everything as you can see. All the different furniture and shelving has uh, pipes. And I must point out right here, these two cute pumpkins. Aren't these just cute? Katina and I did our first pumpkin run 5K just this past weekend. Was not my fastest 5K ever, but it was also only my second one. Uh, last one was in 2012. We've got this sweet map that shows off all of our travels. She got it off of Etsy. There's three different pens. We've got Randy, Katina, so we can each have wherever we've been around the world. And then we're just gonna keep on adding more white ones after my internship is over to show where we've all been. Katina's always wanted to go to Asia. We're gonna get there. I, of course, wanna get back to Europe and Australia, plus, of course, Asia, but then wanna get to Africa and Brazil. Lots of places to go, and I'm happy that Katina and I can track this on our map in the living room, but let's move into the kitchen. All right, anybody that's watched any of the previous videos or else some on Katina's channel too, you know this whole area. This is the kitchen slash dining room. Again, Katina's pretty much done all of the filling and the decorating here. I must say we did find this house through our realtor named Marcus, who Katina and I actually met through YouTube. He had a YouTube channel showing uh, a whole bunch of stuff all about the Milwaukee area real estate and he specializes in relocating people to the area. So we contacted him, one of the easiest people to ever work with. This is pretty much one of the selling points that Katina loved and I of course loved it too. We've got a kitchen, it's got all the different stuff we need. Related to health, uh, if you look through the refrigerator or the pantry, a lot of you would really probably find our food choice is depressing. We don't have a whole lot of gummy bears, candies, ice cream, Little Debbies, and a whole bunch of stuff like that all around the house. As you look here, I mean, we've got yogurt, <laughs> we've got waters, we've got lunch meat that I use for my sandwiches, but no, there's just not a whole lot of stuff that could throw us off our diets. And then you will see that Katina and I are uh, investors in rice cakes. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of flavored rice cakes because they're delicious. This is the dining room here. Katina found this on what? This was Etsy too? Etsy as well. Etsy as well. And she brought the chairs from her house. With me being in my internship, we don't really get to see each other during the day. So we usually try to eat some form of dinner together uh, when I'm home not doing a night class. So it's good to spend time with her there. Our friends Kat and Donald and everybody with Riverside Pizza up in Nanana, Alaska, they sent us this. Uh, as many of you guys know, this challenge that we did, that team pizza challenge, that night Katina and I shared our first kiss. So we are very thankful to them. They mailed this to us and now we have it hanging up in the house. But before going to the bedrooms, I must point out from past videos, I've had a lot of people comment about how much I drink because they see 
a lot of liquor bottles around the house. And if you look at all these, they're all full and they're all gifts. We just got this from one of our neighbors, which is much appreciated. He watches our videos. But if you look, we've got legends, legends, legends. All three of those are from when I did a challenge back in 2019 in Georgia. Uh, Katina got this just for in case we have guests. I've had this wine bottle forever. We've got this. These are both actually from the Chernobyl area in Ukraine. We really don't drink that much of it. Sometimes we have a beer or a cocktail or something while I am whooping her in Rummy 500. I can't beat her in Battleship yet. I'm still working on that. She's got all of her military background, but I do whoop her in Rummy 500, don't I, babe? That is such a lie. <laughs> such a lie. I win sometimes. And the refrigerator for Katina has lots of ketchup. Don't you all worry about that, Kilo Crew. All right, we've got our bathroom. We've got a big mirror. And the reason I love this bathroom is not only because the shower head is pretty tall, but this mirror. My mirror in my old apartment in Springfield, the mirror actually went to like right here. So I had to have a mirror up here so that I actually could see my face. If you saw the old before photos before this house got flipped, <laughs> it needed a lot of work. So pretty much all the main stuff in this house is all new. Katina, show this other photo you bought. All you Dumb and Dumber fans, she had to get that in here. We got Use the Force and then... <laughs> I'm really mature. We do got some pretty art thanks to Katina and her grandma. But this is the guest bed. This isn't too crazy. Katina, one of my first gifts to her, she of course has her own bear. And then she's got her own. That's like an old Beanie Baby from SeaWorld that I got when I was like 12. <laughs> yeah, its name is Slushy. So they're just besties. This is, uh, oh yeah, no, I'm a Catholic boy. So this is Katina's bed. This isn't the guest bed. <laughs> Love you, mom. All right, and we will go into Katina's office. This is where Katina is able to be creative. And then she, of course, uses all of her guitars there. Comment down below if you'd like to hear some Katina music. She's actually really good. This, of course, is all her trophies and photos from when she did her bodybuilding competition. So then, of course, she's got her 100,000 YouTube subscriber play button. So let's go check out the master bedroom. This is my bed. Uh, I used to have a king bed, but because I'm taller, I wanted a California king bed. So one of the requirements for the house, it had to have a big enough master bedroom that I could fit a California king. I have a favorite dresser that I love, and it was not allowed in the master bedroom. She wanted to have matching furniture. So she got this for me, this is hers, but sleep is very important. As you know, I've been tracking it uh, along the way during the sex vacation, but I actually thought that I was gonna want a purple bed or a Tempur-Pedic, because I love my Tempur-Pedic pillow, and we actually didn't get one. We got a, uh, a nicer bed by Beautyrest, right? Mm -hmm. Beautyrest Black. Mm -hmm. I used to have my own scale, but it was really ticking me off. It was inconsistent and I guess it was just old. So I beat it with a hammer and threw it away. <laughs> so now we use Katina's. So any of the, the weigh-ins I do are right here. This is one of the only spots in the house that are actually flat. So <laughs> this house is a piece of work. We love it. Let's go downstairs where I actually spend most of my time. Katina only allows me upstairs like one or two hours a day when I'm not sleeping. So other than that, I'm down in the dungeon in my sanctuary. Let's Who's go. Who's a good boy? <laughs> Come here, girl. Who's a good boy? <laughs> Stop it. Before we go downstairs, there were some shots showing the backyard, but this is the side yard. We don't go out here too much and there's no outlet to the backyard. So we don't spend a whole lot of time outside, but maybe in the winter, I've always wanted to have an outdoor fireplace. We'll see, but yeah, let's go downstairs. All right, this was also along with the kitchen, a very big selling point. We actually just got all this set up. Katina and I uh, together went in and got some weight equipment. Uh, she, we both love squats and I of course love bench obviously. Um, <laughs> but I've always had metal weights, but Katina wanted rubber. So we've got a whole bunch of rubber weights and there's still some more on the way. 
the next video I'm gonna be talking about my exercise habits and my routine and all of that is pretty much down here. So we just wanted to do a house tour beforehand. We've got my total gym where I do uh, body weight stuff because obviously I can't do a whole lot of pull-ups with 329 pounds. So we've got a massage table for when one of us is sore. We still need to actually hang this up. This thing is massive. I've had it since 2016. I won a contest at CraveCon uh, the one year that they did it, Dan Drops and Ken Domic. I, it was an Instagram contest through uh, rallies and checkers. I won this and I just have never had a big enough wall to hang it, but I think we're gonna put this here. And now let's get to my favorite thing. It's pretty much like the only thing other than my bikes that I brought from my apartment. I actually do like it down here because now I use it for all of my fitness clothes and it's got all my biking uh, outfits and stuff in the top drawers since our spin bikes are down here and all my exercise stuff. While you're all here, I'll give you a sneak peek. The eventual goal is to be able to fit into this tri suit. This is important to me because it was basically a gift from a thrift store that I did a whole bunch of community service at while I was in college round one back in my early 20s, so yeah. So before we go to the dungeon where I do all the biking, let's go check out the store. This is where I pretty much package anything that gets bought from the store. Thank you guys all for your support. This sign was made for me by a couple in Southern England uh, back in like 2015, maybe 2016, but I love that. That of course came from my house. This is a shadow box. A lot of people have given Katina and I, well, Katina from the military, but a lot of people have given me coins and stuff throughout the years of challenges. So we've got a shadow box for that. This is where all the store stuff gets stored. And then the first five big 45, 50 gallon tubs of my sweet t-shirts that I win, those are all at mom and dad's house in the basement. But now we've got all the remaining ones. So that all, the first tub that I'm working on, number six, is behind. We've got Leonidas spares. So yeah, all the store stuff is here. It just keeps everything efficient. One of the things we agree on and where we bond is we're both kind of minimalists. We use pretty much every room, every closet. This is kind of messy. I keep most of the house clean because Katina likes everything straightened, so I'm allowed to have this corner a little bit of a mess. This is pretty much where I do all my work. My friend Robert, a uh, big thank you to him, he's here in Milwaukee. He gave me these two screens. That is some fan art uh, from my friend, I think if I remember right, down in New Orleans. That of course is a cute calendar that Katina's mom made for me. Katina has her own with different pictures. That is a Turkish thing that was given to us while we were in Turks and Caicos by the owners of Turks Kebab. I of course have my much older 100,000 subscriber YouTube play button. And then I have both of my Missouri State University diplomas. This is where I spend a lot of time, but then when I'm not here or when I'm not upstairs or in the main area, I am biking on Stacy, who just this year met Sammy, Katina's bike. So let's check that out. This is one of my favorite rooms. Uh, I gotta give credit to Katina for setting it up this way. Katina does a lot of her exercising while I am doing my internship, so we don't really get to like stare in each other's eyes and ride that often. I know we're working on, once I'm leaner, we're gonna do some cute Instagram couples workouts, but Katina goes to bed about nine o'clock p.m. I don't really go to bed until like midnight or one, so a lot of my riding is actually after she's gone to bed. She's able to sleep while I'm still riding, and these are both, a lot of people ask, they are, I had to get this originally because I knew that one day my weight was gonna be more. These both support like 350, 400 pounds. They are Stages Indoor Cycling, model SC3s. I originally got it because it was the bike that was available in the Student Rec Center at Missouri State. I don't use this yet, uh, but I will once uh, I get a little bit leaner and I can get more flexible and start like kickboxing. One of the reasons I love this room is because Katina had the idea, gotta give her credit, to get this TV and hang it up like that. So when I'm not listening to audiobooks and podcasts, 
I am watching movies or watching video podcasts and stuff like that to kind of pass the time. Riding three hours in one place on a stationary bike is, is a long time. So Katina's subscribed to Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and we of course have YouTube. We use mine because I have premium. Now that you guys have seen the entire house, we are right in the room where my calendar is. So let's find out how week number seven actually went. As I said at the beginning of the video, this morning I woke up happily weighing 329.2 pounds. I didn't actually think that I was gonna lose that much weight. I thought I was only gonna lose a few and be in the low 330s. But yeah, hit the 329. I did not hit my spinning goal for the week. I only hit eight hours. So I was feeling a little bit rough from the previous week. I took off Monday. I was able to get two and a half hours on Tuesday and then two and a half hours on Wednesday for five hours. I took off Thursday because I was tired. Friday, I was off as well because I spent the entire day doing a thing for my internship through Mount Mary. Myself and the other 11 interns, we served a massive dinner that we cooked ourselves for about 140, 50 people. I actually hit over 10,000 steps that day just from walking around the kitchen and everything else we had to do. My buddy, Ethan Teske, he did come for the weekend. So we had like two or three beers afterwards and you still see that I did get a strike. I did my very first 5K since 2012. It was not as fast as the one I did in 2012 when I was thinner and more ready. But Katina wanted to do it, so I did it. Didn't stop at all the whole way and managed to finish in just under 40 minutes. So I was happy with that. And while I'm not big into running, I did like the feeling of accomplishment afterwards. So there is a chance that I might do a little bit more running in the future. Also, it was just overall a great weekend. I did a three hour ride, not on Stacy on Sunday. I actually did my first ride on Miley, my actual uh, specialized diverge gravel bike. I did that with my friend Robert, uh, who gave me the screen monitors that you saw. He's big into like triathlons and stuff. So I did a ride uh, like 45 miles with him around Milwaukee. So that was awesome. I did, as you see, I hit seven strikes, had great nutrition the whole way. Uh, all seven days. We didn't really do anything too crazy. Uh, Katina and Ethan did an eating contest on Saturday. I just watched, so I had a lot less, a lot fewer calories that day with a lot of steps. So between the 5K and the walking around the German Oktoberfest, over 15,000 steps that day. I hit my sleep goal on five of the seven days, which is better than the previous weeks, 640, 708, uh, Wednesday and Thursday uh, in the five, so under the six threshold that I'm going for. 637, 625, 813, and I did hit my step goal on every day uh, over 10,000. So all of that is pretty much what went into my week number seven that allowed me to lose 8.2 more pounds. So that is it for this video. The next video for week eight is actually gonna be all about my fitness regimen and my routine and everything I'm doing for exercise right now. So stay tuned for that. If there is anything else you want me to talk about, there's still a lot more videos to do as part of this 15 week series. So please let me know down in the comment section. And if you have any questions, I will try to get to as many comments as I can. But I hope you maybe think about this video and how everything that we have at this house and just think about your own home environment and just maybe think about one or two ways that you can improve yours if you're trying to lose weight. Until my next one, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, hoping you guys always, always, always win before you begin. Thanks for watching.